Improving at chess can be incredibly difficult, and with this comes increasing your elo. But you don't have to be an absolute grandmaster to increase your chess elo. You see, if you follow these 7 tips that you can implement into your games right now, I guarantee you that you will increase your elo by 50, 100, or possibly even up to 200 points. Make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video so you can incorporate every single tip. If you happen to like the video, then like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Enjoy. The very first tip that I'm going to give you is to pay attention to your time. And I know, you might have seen the thumbnail and been thinking, Oh, just pre-move constantly. I know, I got this. But that's not exactly what I mean. You see, time is just as crucial as an element to your chess game as is moving the pieces. So with this should come a very strong emphasis on it. You see, the actual game mode that you're playing in could be the reason why you're plateauing. If you're playing rapid and constantly end games with 6, 7, or 8 minutes left, you should probably switch to a quicker time interval like Blitz. And on the contrary, if you're playing Blitz and constantly losing on time and it seems like you can do nothing to keep up with the opponent, then probably switch to Rapid. It might be a bit disappointing to at the very start see your chess elo drop and see all the work that you have done in your one main game mode be blown to smithereens, but once you switch to a game mode that is right for you, I guarantee you that you will be able to gain much more chess elo than you had before. I really suggest that you try this out. The second tip that I can give you to end your chess plateau and absolutely skyrocket your elo is to put away all distractions. When you're about to play a game of chess, try your best to get into a quiet and easy to focus environment. Put the phone down, get off TikTok, get off YouTube shorts, and actually give the game some real focus. There's nothing worse than trying to calculate a super complicated position and hearing in the corner of your screen. This is a one billion dollar super yacht. And it's now there is one caveat. Disregard absolutely all of the information that I just gave you if the video is Anthoboy. If it is an Anthoboy video, then watch away. The third tip to end your chess plateau is to find an opening that you like and stick to it. It is crucial for the improvement of your game to stick to an opening that you can fully master. That way you know all the ins and outs, all the possible variations, and you can expect anything that comes your way. I do ask one favor of you though. Don't pick a stinky opening like the stupid London system. Pick an actually solid opening. Some good examples for white are the Vienna game and the Queen's Gambit. For black, the Indian defense and the Sicilian defense. All of these are very solid choices. Don't spend a ton of time on gambits that won't always happen in the game. Find openings that are much more solid, will get you a winning position, and take as much advantage of it as you can. The fourth and possibly the most important tip is to analyze your games. I cannot stress enough how important this is. I know, analysis might seem a bit boring, you just want to get into the game and try to make the best moves possible, but no, you cannot forget about analysis. And when you do analyze, I know it might be tempting to just look at the brilliant moves that you made, but it's much more important than that. Look at places like when you left theory, where you possibly went wrong in your opening, what patterns you missed, what attacks you didn't see from the opponent, and things like this. These are all very th important things that you would want to incorporate into your game in the future, and analysis is where you catch them early. Again, I cannot stress enough how important analysis truly is. The fifth tip that you can incorporate to increase your chess elo is to watch chess pros in your spare time. If you have time spent away from the chessboard, you might as well be trying to maximize the benefits that you can get from it. And watching chess content is a fantastic way to do this. When you're watching the pros, try and see if you can tell what exactly is going on, pay attention to their tactics, and just do whatever you can to stick with the game. If you can really understand the deep position of, that chess pros find themselves in, you will have no problem being able to transition from equal to winning games against your 1000 ELO rated opponent. <music> Tip number six is to have some kind of proper warm up. And I know it might sound a bit corny, you know, we're not playing sports or anything, we don't need a stretch, but you should do something before you play to just get your mind a bit ready for chess. This could be something very simple, like playing a few puzzles just to get your brain thinking about chess, or you could go into analysis, view one of your prior games, the mistakes you made, possibly go over the main lines of your opening, just get yourself in the proper mindset to play a game. The last tip is to find a group of friends. Wait, no, no, don't go away. I know it might be hard for some of us to make friends, <laughs> especially me, but in all seriousness, Playing chess with friends makes the process so much more enjoyable. Not only sometimes you get to get off the computer and actually play over the board, which is convenient from time to time, but also having a healthy rivalry with your friend to push you to improve every single day is a very strong and positive way to improve and to increase your ELO. 
which at the end of the day, we all should strive for. If none of your friends play chess, maybe try to teach them or look online. There's many places where you can find a group of people that you can become friends with who play chess. But at the end of the day, if you can play chess with people you actually enjoy to spend time with, it'll make the process 10 times easier.